Hey everyone, welcome on into a brand new video on the channel and I'm really excited because we've got another villager hunt this week. But not only do we have a villager hunt, but I also have a quick update on what I've been working on on my island. So we're going to be getting into that here in just a second as well. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this and drop a like down below because it's free and it really helps out the video. But without further ado, let's get into a little bit of what's been going on on my island nightmare. Well, this week was actually a pretty exciting week on my island. I somehow accidentally managed to finish the game. That's not even a joke. Like, I literally did my first island eval, and by only designing, like, less than a quarter of my island, somehow hit three stars and triggered the end of the game. A horse built a shelf. Pennywise also visited my island this week, and that was horrifying. And last but not least, Tom Nook gave me the responsibility of moving somebody off my island. As you can see, I've been putting a little bit of work into Christmas Town over this last week or so, and I'm really excited about the progress I've made. So let's take a look at a couple of the things that have changed and or developed as we've been gone for like the last week or so. So as you can see, I've worked a little bit more on the town square. It's not done by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely getting, you know, to a place where I'm happier with it for sure. As we come over this way towards Eric's house, you'll notice that it's a little more full and a little more finished. Um, I'm definitely getting to a point where I'm much happier with this space. And as you can see, I've got a little campsite with some treats and stuff set up so somebody can enjoy like a nice frosty day outside, a nice pie and maybe a little bit of coffee. It's beautiful, cool air just makes it feel nice and refreshing. Make our way down here as we get towards the opening and the entrance of the island. Now, I really don't know exactly what I want to do with the entrance of the island just yet, but we're starting to get there. And now that I officially have access to terraforming, you know, the fun part's just beginning. And as we leave the town square back up here at the top, I've started filling in this area with an entrance that goes all the way back around and behind the town square to where my very, you know, early developed and still working reindeer farm is going to be. I'm kind of working on a shed right now for the reindeer and like a little area where the reindeer are going to walk around and feed. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that it looks so far, but it doesn't it doesn't quite feel finished. I think a couple like hay bales and stuff like that, and we'll definitely be getting closer to feeling a little more filled. All right, so now that I've shown you a little bit of what I've worked on this week on the island, let's get to that villager hunt, shall we? We've got a pretty good group of dreamies that we're hoping to find this week. This week, my dream is that I can find either Jack or Sally, aka Lucky or Stitches. Now, of course, any of the other dreamies on my main dream list, I'm totally cool with finding. But as a little added challenge, I would love for it to be one of those two. So let's jump into this and let's see if we can get lucky this week. Not, I mean, the villager would be great, but you know, just in general, being lucky would, would be nice. So, so far, the trend of villager hunting with this island is, I mean, and I'm not even joking, an enormous number of duplicates. It is, it, it is kind of shocking how many duplicates I have seen on each of my villager hunts so far throughout this island. Like, we've only really done, like, two, maybe three proper villager hunts so far on this island. And yet, like, I've I, I've never seen this many duplicates before in any of my villager hunts before this point. So it's really quite crazy. But I'm hoping today's luck is going to be very different. We've got a hundred Nook Miles tickets and a dream. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough, to be honest. But after last week, I, I got I got Eric in 13 tickets, I got D.Va on an accidental autofill, and then I continued to press my luck by using the rest of my 100 tickets last week. And we ended up finding no more Dreamies, and then taking the 
autofill with Roscoe, who, I mean, is not a bad temporary villager, but admittedly, it would have been nice to take him another Dreamy, so maybe I pushed my luck last week, maybe I should have just accepted the two Dreamies that I got and not gone for a third, but it felt wrong to not at least try to, you know, to, to push my look a little bit further and get a third Dreamy. Did it work out? No, but this week I have full faith we're going home with a Dreamy. Oh, and island number one is gonna be in Apple Island. What a way to start the week. I mean, I'm not mad at that. That's a great way to start a villager hunt. Let's see if we can start the day off with a strong villager on island number one. And Apple Island, I mean, the best way you could start is... Oh. Oh, what is... Is your name... No. Oh, gosh. I can't think of your name. Colton. I was going to say Cole, but I know who Cole is. That's the rabbit. It's Colton. Um, you know, I there's a lot of people I know who love Colton. I am not necessarily one of them. Now, as I mentioned a couple minutes ago, I, I am actually really hoping to find either Lucky or Stitches today. Those are like the two dreamies that I'm like most excited to find. If I had to pick like a third villager that I'd really love to find today, I would probably say our mayor, aka Marlo. I feel like Marlo would also be a really cool one to find pretty early on because as I start to design my Halloween town area of my island, I start to realize that the mayor's house, Jack and Sally are kind of three of the biggest areas that I really want to like really get, you know, fleshed out and designed really well. So any of those three would be super ideal. Oh, I see the Bamboo Island. Oh no. But yeah, any any of those three would be most ideal, but I'll take any of my dreamies that, you know, RNG wants to deliver to me today. And island number two is a Bamboo Island. Oh, how little faith I have in Bamboo Islands. Island number two, don't do me dirty. We started with an Apple Island. And you took me immediately to a bamboo island, and I feel like this is setting up expectations. Bamboo island, and island number two. Who do we have hiding here? We have... Okay, that's... Okay, certainly not the worst bamboo island we've seen in a while. If anything, actually probably one of the better ones. Jay! Who, I mean, all things considered, I think Jay is kind of adorable, actually. Like, there's, there's several great bird villagers. Jay is kind of, like, middle of the road, but I definitely don't mind Jay. And that is, in, in my opinion, at least a successful bamboo island. So as we get moving to island number three, my question to all of you is, what is a theme or an island that you've either wanted to work on for a while or have just recently started working on that you're really excited about? Something that, like, just you've been feeling so inspired to start, and now that you're finally working on it or looking to work on it, like, you just have so many ideas flooding through your head. I'd be curious to see some of the themes you guys are working with. So comment down below with something that you're working on on your island, whether it's an area or a whole island theme that you've been excited about. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. I just realized I forgot my vaulting pole. I think I think I can get one on the island. It's been forever since I've actually forgotten my vaulting pole. Let's see if there's a Dreamy on this island. If there's not, great. If there is, we'll have to figure out the vaulting pole situation. <laughs> All right, we've got... Okay, we've got a Flamingo. That is definitely not what we're looking for. Island number three, we've got... Admittedly, very pink, and I like the color pink. But definitely not one of our Dreamies. Do 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 pole. There we go. Now we have our vaulting pole. And now we're ready to find a Dreamy. Could you imagine if I had found a Dreamy? without my vaulting pole. Oh my goodness, no way. Island number four is gonna be another Apple Island. I tell you what, the, the Nightmare Island has been bringing me so many Apple Islands. And while they've been a little hit or miss at times, for the most part, I've still been bringing us some really great villagers. So Island number four, we need some dreamy luck on this one because the Apple Islands can't let us down today. Island number four, who's hiding back here? We have, oh, it's our husky friend. It's Walker. We found Walker last week and Walker's really, really quite an adorable puppers. I have actually started to grow to like Walker quite a bit as one of the dog villagers. For the, for the longest time, I forgot Walker existed, but I've, I've grown quite fond of Walker recently. 
He's not one of my dreamies, and I won't be taking him today, but definitely a super cute villager for island number four, and the Apple Island didn't let us down. Well, hey there, Tiller. It looks like you've got a metric butt ton of Nook Miles tickets. Did you want to go to a Nook Miles island? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Okie dokie. Island number five. And I'm feeling like there's going to be a mouse villager on this island. That's a hippo. That's hairy. Why is, why are you, why are you the way that you are? All right, island number eight. It's time to start bringing us some stinking cute villagers. Or else. Island number eight, and we have... Is that Hamlet? I feel like that's Hamlet. That looks like Hamlet. Are you Hamlet? Oh my god, it's the lead of ham. Oh god, it's Hamlet. Hi, Hamlet. Good. It's it's so good to see you. I've missed you. Oh my god, it's another bamboo island. Oh, please don't tell me this is going to be a cursed week full of bamboo islands. It's not that we had a bam bad bamboo island earlier, but I don't want to risk continuously hitting bamboo islands either. Bamboo island number three for the... Oh my god, it stitches! Oh my god, it stitches! It stitches! Oh my goodness! No way! We found our dreamy! I literally said this was one of my dreamies for today. We have Stitches, a.k.a. our Sally, for our Nightmare Island. Oh my gosh, no freaking way. Absolutely, you can definitely come live on my island, Stitches. I am so excited. Wow, I think that might be the quickest I've ever found Stitches for one of my islands. Normally, Stitches is one of the ones, you know, is between like 70 and 140 tickets. So I will happily take a 10 ticket dreamy right there. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. I guess now the question is, do I stop here or do I go for another dreamy? This is a question I have to ask myself because 10 tickets is quick. And I may not have learned my lesson last week. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Stitches officially has a plot on my island. I am super excited. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe how quick that just happened. But in typical Tiller fashion, I've decided that I'm not going to end my villager hunt here. 10 tickets is super quick and I've still got plenty of time and plenty of tickets. So I'm going to give myself 20 more tickets today to try and find another dreamy for the island. So let's go grab 20 more tickets and let's go drop a plot really quick so that we can move in another villager onto our island. All right, so we've officially skipped ahead a day so that Stitches has moved into the island. Now let's go buy a plot of land from Tom Nook, slap that bad boy down like some barbecue sauce on a steak, and freaking get going. Well, we managed to find stitches and 10 tickets. So surely that means giving myself 20 more tickets, I can find two more dreamies, right? Uh, wishful thinking. But let's see if we can't add another dreamy to our list for today. So originally I wanted to find either Jack, Sally, or the mayor. So let's add another one of our dreamies to our list since we got Sally. Let's add Barrel to our dreamies for the day. So Murphy, our green little cub, is going to add be added to my list for today. I'm pretty excited, actually. I really like Murphy. I think Murphy's an underrated villager. I think he's super cute. So we're looking for Marlo, Lucky, or Murphy. Granted, once again, like I said earlier, if I come across any of my other dreamies, I'm still going to take them. But these are the three that I want to see the most right now. All right. Another island and hopefully another dreamy. I should, I should, I, I, I probably shouldn't give credit to the Bamboo Island for that, but the Bamboo Island did just bring us a dreamy. And that means that Bamboo Islands technically have brought us more dreamies than Apple Islands so far on this. And that's kind of scary. But here we go. Oh, I think I just, I think I just saw... <gasps> Oh, okay, not the worst way to start this villager hunt. I mean, I'm not I'm not too upset. Billy's a pretty cool villager. 
you know, I, I have a couple friends who really love Billy. Maybe not one of my personal favorites of the GOATs, um, but you know what though, Billy, he's still the GOAT. I tell you what, it feels really good to have back-to-back -back weeks with like really quick dreamies. But you know what that makes me think though? What if I was meant to autofill after the dreamy again? What if another one of my dreamies is sitting in the autofill list, just waiting to move into a home, and I'm out here just throwing tickets away like it's nobody's business? Well, I guess if we get to 20 tickets and we don't find a dreamy, maybe I'll let it autofill just to see what happens. There's, I, I highly doubt my luck is that good to have it happen twice on the same island, but that would be pretty wild though. All right, time to go catch some bees and chop some trees. And also find an ugly villager. Oh no, it's a pig. It's a pig, actually probably one of the actually better pigs, I would say. Peggy's kind of adorable in a weird way. Like, I don't, I don't mind Peggy too much, to be honest. There's a couple of the pigs that I'm not a fan of, like, at all. But Peggy's, Peggy's not terrible. Peggy's pretty all right. All right, island number 13, or technically three for this villager hunt, regardless of how you want to look at it. I'm just going to keep counting from the original base number of tickets. So island number 13, and I think, what's that, Wilbur? You smell like fish. That's not abundant. That's not a. That's not abundantly helpful. Thank. Thank you, though. I, I. I could tell it wasn't really a secret, but thank you for sharing, though. All right, island number thirteen. We have. Oh, we have. I think it's Zell, right? It is. It's Zell. Zell's actually a really cool villager. Um, I don't know that I ever considered Zell for this island, but Zell's definitely like got some really cool energy. Zell seems really chill. So, island number 13, we've got Zell. Oh boy, it's another bamboo island. I mean, I can't complain. We found stitches on a bamboo island, so maybe we should... All right, island number 15, let's see if we can get onto this island before the villager reveals themselves. All right, island number 15, who's hiding back here? We have, oh, Shino again, no way. Oh my gosh, you have gotta be kidding. Oh, uh, I don't remember who it was. There was somebody in the comments like either like a week or two ago that was like, when I, when I had to leave Shino behind, they were like really sad about it. Oh, uh, I, and to be fair, I'm just as sad as you are. Like, I think Shino is an absolutely spectacular villager. But I have to, I have to stay strong with my dreamy list. I can't, I can't take Shino as much as it hurts. Like, leaving Anka behind last week was just misery. It was absolute misery. And leaving, you know, leaving Shino behind isn't really any easier. Because they're both just great villagers they, they really are freaking adorable oh this hurts it hurts so bad little 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 all right wilbur who's on this island it's lucky fantastic making my life easy and we've got a liar because that's not lucky Oh, it's another Bamboo Island. Man, the odds of finding a Bamboo Island today are starting to become more likely than McDonald's having a working ice cream machine. Jesus. All right, Bamboo Island number. This might be number five for the day. This is actually kind of crazy. Bamboo. It's Walker again. 17 tickets in for the day. We've seen Walker twice. Not that I'm complaining, Walker's cute and everything. Don't, don't take this as me complaining. Bamboo Islands can be way worse. Well, it seems that the Bamboo Islands are taking over today. We've seen, we've seen so many Bamboo Islands and so few tickets. I mean, we're, let's see. So we're officially 19 tickets in for the day in total. And we've seen five Bamboo Islands. That's pretty like, I, I feel like that's a lot more than I normally see. Not that I think I have any room to complain since we found stitches on one of them, but the Apple Islands have really got to, you know, step up their game, though, if they want to stay the Dreamy Islands. All right, island number 19, we've got... Oh, I know your name. I saw you last week. What is your name? It's Celia. 
I actually really like the shine, like the, the green looks really good. I actually really like the shade of green they chose. Kind of reminds me of shiny Pelipper from Pokemon. And normally I don't like Pelipper because it's a toilet bird, but Celia, you're no toilet bird. You're an adorable bird. There's a big difference there. You don't want to be a toilet bird. Toilets are nasty. All right, island number 20. We're only doing 30 islands today. So we're hoping for a dreamy, and I know, I know, I should be, I should consider myself lucky that I've already found a dreamy today. And I'm pressing my luck again when I don't need to. And need I remind you that I don't learn anything at all, ever, from any of my mistakes. But island number 20 out of 30 total islands today, we have oh, Marina again, I might say. Because we saw Marina last week. Another one of those villagers that was from my Wizard of Oz island that is off to the void of no return. But Marina's super adorable. I love Marina. All right, having fun on island number 21. And skedaddle, skedoodle. On this island, we have a noodle. I've got a plushie of Orville that literally hangs from my microphone as I'm recording. And his, his little beady eyes are constantly looking into my eyes whenever I look over. And I'm just reminded of what pure evil looks like. Oh, look, another bamboo island. Oh, see, speak of evil. And he'll take you right to one of them. Bamboo island. I, I, I don't even know what number this is anymore. Like six or seven today. Bamboo Island, like six or seven. Come on, don't suck. Oh, it's Rodeo. No. I know so many people wanted me to have Rodeo on this island because Rodeo makes sense for the nightmare theme. Here's the thing though. Rodeo scares me. All right, Apple Island. Where's my dreamy at? We've got, oh my God. <laughs> it's Bam. I mean, technically, it is a dreamy of mine, just not from my current island that I'm working on. I do love Bam, and I do love the color blue. But... I can't take Bam. And now I have to look Bam in the eyes. And explain to... Oh, no, he seems pretty cool with this action. Never mind. All right, Wilbur. If there's no dreamy on this island, I get to slap you in the McGriddle. All right, and I don't even know what number island this is. I, oh. Prepare your McGriddle, Wilbur! All right, so we have six more tickets before we hit our 20 ticket deadline. And I don't know, I've still, I, I'm, I'm feeling optimistic. I definitely don't feel like, I, I don't feel like it won't happen. I feel good. I feel like, it, I feel like we'll still find a dreamy. I do feel like I used a lot of my luck getting stitches, considering that was one of my three like big dreamies for the day. And that might have absorbed a little extra luck than I than I should have on one dreamy, but sometimes you just gotta, you know, you, you just gotta do the do. All right, five islands left, including this one. Oh! Oh, you're lying to me. It's Mott. Now this feels like a good island. There is gonna be a stinking cute villager on this island. I can already feel it. I definitely didn't look out of my window of the airplane as we were landing. We have a... Oh, oh, oh my God, no way. Oh my God, it's Poppy. No way, it's actually one of our dreamies for our Christmas town. Oh my gosh, we actually did it. In less than 20 more tickets, we found another dreamy. And back to back weeks where we find a dreamy for both areas of the island, Halloween Town and Christmas Town. Oh my gosh, it's actually Poppy. I was right, by the way. I just want to point that out. I was very right. There was in fact a cute villager on this island. No one's going to believe me that I was right because they never do, but I was right. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This also means that I have both of my Christmas Town villagers and I can actually finish my Christmas Town like design and like get everybody moved in over there. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, what a stinking cutie, by the way. Like Poppy is absolutely adorable. I'm so happy. This is actually like 
This is a better situation than I could have hoped for. All right, and there we go. Poppy is officially moving to Nightmare, and I'm so happy. Oh, and there's the salt sign. Oh, I'm so excited. There it is, Poppy's new home. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that in 30 tickets, we actually ended up getting two Dreamies today. That is like two weeks in a row of actually like really, really great villager luck. I am super hecking excited about that. And just like that, another exciting week on Nightmare has come to a conclusion. Two new Dreamies moved in and our community grows even larger and lots of amazing progress was made on the island this week. I'm really excited with the way that everything is turning out. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. If you have, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of the future episodes on this island. And don't forget to comment down below with your favorite villager that I found this week. But until the next video, I must say goodbye. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and take care everybody. See you later.